So this is for unit one, lab three. We're going to look at adding multiple inputs. So you're going to modify your existing pinwheel block so that you can use it to draw a variety of shapes. So first you drew a generalized original pinwheel script um, previously, and you added an input called number of branches. So that controlled the turning angle of the sprite. So now what we're going to do is add more input so you can generalize other aspects of your program. All right, so first what I want you to do is talk about what this, um, if you're going to just experiment with a second move block right here, right? So what does this block do? Um, this right here. And so go ahead and pause this video and talk about it with your partner. So hopefully you talked about it with your partner and um, what you should see is that the image kind of either became smaller or larger depending on what you did to the number, right? So we're going to add a second input to control the amount of backing up that the sprite does. So that's what this move um, block does. It's actually backing up. So we are going to edit this by clicking the plus sign here at the end. Now we're going to choose title text and we're going to type in backup with a colon at the end and then click OK. All right. And then we're going to click the plus sign again. And this time we're going to click on input name, make sure it's highlighted and then type in backup. All right. And so this backup is what we're going to control over here. Right. That's how many steps that the sprite will move back up. OK, so we're going to apply this and let's go ahead and run this with. Um, let's see what numbers shall we do? Um, let's see if it goes forward 100 and then maybe it just goes back 10. All right. So let's see what this does. Actually, let's press OK. So then oh, it's going off screen a little bit. All right, so now let's see what it does if it goes back up 90. All right, let's clear this and run it. All right, so it's drawing the shape pretty much um, like off the screen. And let's do one more. All right. And so then that is going to, um, so then we're changing it so that it accepts a positive value. Now let's see if we do negative 10. So then now it changes it back a little bit, right? So it needs to be, um, when it's a positive value, it goes, it doesn't, really go back up like we expected it to initially. Um, so what we're going to do next is, um, make sure that we maybe, we keep it like a negative number, right? So another input that we can do is size. So let's go ahead and edit. So we're going to do a title for size. And now we are going to add another input. And this one will be how big the sprite or how much, how many steps forward the sprite moves. So we're going to change it to this one. So this was move forward and this is the number to back up. Um, And so what I also want you to do is to find a way so that this will always be um, a negative number. So maybe you go to somewhere to operators, I don't know, find something so that it will always be, it will always back up. Okay, so we're gonna apply it and press okay. So now we want our size to be 100 and this was our original numbers. So it'll move forward 100 and then back up 70. All right, so then, Oops. 
Okay, let's try that again. So that's what it was doing. All right. Um, so now maybe I want to change this to 200. And so then it'll just make a bigger, um, a bigger polygon. So now that we have something like this, I want you to definitely change something here in the backup so that you don't have to keep putting a negative number. Um, and a way you could also organize yourself is to include a note, right? So um, maybe it's here. Um, yeah, so the, that's for you to figure out. 